So with that being said, uh, you know, you're kind of, what is your goal or what do you think you'll do this year on wholesale deals? You know, will you hit that 30? Will you, are you trying to do like a, a couple a month or five a month? <clears throat> yeah, we were, we were just going through, we were just kind of set up, uh, you ever used, you ever used, uh, the traction methodology and, and book to kind of set goals and stuff like that? We, we, we just got, yeah. oh, I thought Brian was going to hold the book up. <clears throat> but, uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, we, we've just been kind of running our team through goal setting. I mean, we just did it. I, I might not get this perfect, but, uh, our goal is to do about 800,000 this year. Okay. Uh, that breaks down in Q1 to. I think it's 86. Uh, there, hold, hold it up again. And, and see. Traction right there. there. Look, look at him. Look, he's got it open like he's actually reading it, too. I know, right? <laughs> There's just pictures on the inside of this. <laughs> <laughs> the pictures of my family on the postcard. That's all I just. Like, oh. there he is. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, our, our goal in Q1, Randy, is is eighty six thousand dollars. Our goal by the end of the okay. year is to be ramped up in October. Uh, sorry, September, October, November. December is a little tricky month, as you probably know. Yeah. In uh, in wholesale, so the goal is to get the. I guess we're at eighty two for the first quarter, and then eighty six thousand run rate per month at the end of the year, which is a run rate of a million. And yeah. we've got kind of a plan to get there. It ends up being eight hundred thousand for this year. And then it starts to really scale from there once we get to a run rate of eighty six thousand a month. Awesome. Now it's about it's about eighty deals total this year. Okay. So now I got a quick question was um how did you overcome or react when Twilio uh for the texting and changed their 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 requirements? Did you just try to go on the fly? Did that bring some downtime for you since you do mainly texting? You know, it, it was probably pretty fortunate timing for uh, Ryan, Alicia, and, and Tower Home Buyers because we already had launch control in place. That's our texting mechanism. Okay. Um, awesome. And they're, they're, they've got their own deal. They, they've got incredible guideposts and guardrails mm -hmm. in place to help you really make sure you're getting the right messages out to the right people and you're not and you're not getting in in spam and they're super careful on that and you're creating all kinds of spinners and stuff like that to send the right messages and different messages uh Tw twilio you know can't real launch control and there's no commercial for launch control just what yeah. we use but they cater to the real estate business mm -hmm. so they understand real estate to the nth degree twilio is is just a service for everybody and, yep. and so they they they've done nothing specific. I'm not ripping on Twilio. It's just the oh, case yeah. that it was. So we flipped over to Launch Control. It's been great. We've got our VAs run. We, like I said, we were already doing it on our side. Okay. So we just basically converted everything um, that, over from REI Reply and Twilio to Launch Control. But yeah, pe people love yeah. those dinner time phone calls, Randy. That's great. Oh yeah. When you're done What's with work it? and you. What do you use? Do you use like Mojo Dialer or something like that? To uh, so we use Call Tools. So I love Call Tools because it doesn't go to my phone. Like it, if I'm not there to answer it, like it will go to a voicemail, and then I and then I get an email right away with the recording. So I don't even have to log in to Call Tools in order to hear the voicemail. All I do is it comes straight through an email. Listen to the recording and i can choose to call back i can choose later or anything like that um and then what i do is when i do my follow-ups i don't use call tools um call tools is mainly just for the initial and then i have it go the anybody who says yes they want to sell i have it go to my podio so um then that goes on my podio and then i'll follow up and i actually have a google voice um, set up, which is this number right here. Hmm. So you can always reach me no matter what that goes straight to my cell phone. So, and, um, I, that's how I follow up is through my Google voice number. That's awesome. <clears throat> now that's a great system. And Podio was great. We started on that and then we moved to investor fuse, which is a, a kind of a different mm -hmm. version built on top of Podio and then recently moved to, 
to Salesforce. So it just it, it kind of brought everything together a little bit better for all the different things that we were doing. That's awesome. So now, do you guys have a physical location or is everybody remote? Yeah, we have about 30 of them right now. <laughs> That's called all your properties? <laughs> it's called all our properties. <laughs> Uh, so, you, you know, we can we can meet at Airbnbs. We actually have a place that we've been using kind of as an office right now. It's a, it's our one house. It's kind of funny. It was the first thing I thought of when I saw Jeff's first question, because we do have one house that, nice. Love that. It, it's it's uh, Cooley Beach Road. And it is uh, it's actually the lake is on the other side of the road. Uh, we never call it a lake house, but it is right there and it has lake access yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Um, but that was kind of the first thing I thought of. And we have used that as a as a kind of a rallying point because it's, it's kind yeah. of central. It's in Commerce uh, or White Lake, and it's just kind of right there where everybody gets together next to that amazing town called Waterford. I don't oh, know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, well, I, you know, I'd love to meet your team in person one day and, and maybe talk strategies about your wholesaling team. Um, you know, uh, whenever you have time, no rush, you know. Preferably summer. <laughs> so. Preferably summer. <laughs> yeah, or spring. Uh, with a jet. You weather. like to do it out on the jet ski, right? A buzz, like, definitely. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so uh, that sounds good. Well, why don't? Yeah, I, I would love to connect with you and, and have those discussions, Randy. I think that'd be great. That's that's one thing yeah. our, our team uh, does a great job of, but we could always do better. And and we're looking for. You know, we're part of we're part of uh, great mastermind groups and stuff like that. But we are looking for great local people who know the yeah. business incredibly well and look at a team and partner and do something pretty special in Detroit here. So I'd love to uh, kind of join forces with you for sure. Yeah, most definitely. And love to love to work with you. Love to work with anybody, really. So and, and kind of bring in that on, uh, Johnny Gaffer actually said he's an IT professional. Johnny, I, you can read the whole whole sentence here, but basically uh, the gist of it is, A, if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me, I'm offering free one-on-one -on -one calls for people who want to talk about real estate, um, wholesaling, or just in general. Um, give me a call. My number's here at the bottom, and, or my email is scrolling at the bottom as well and we'll schedule a call. The only requirement I say is we record it and I can put it on my YouTube channel. That's the only reason I do it for free. So, um, <clears throat> and uh, so I'm doing is anybody out there who wants to do that, wants to take me up on that. My number's at the bottom here. My email's at the bottom. Hit me up and I'm always happy to help anybody else out. We'll record the call just like we're doing here and take it from there. Hey, I know you're wrapping. Last thing I'll say with Johnny Dapper yeah. and that message, he's an IT professional. Yeah. Um, like I said earlier, we love to take people who have skill sets and passions and use them. There's so many different things that can be used within real estate. It's kind of bizarre. It's almost like oh, yeah. every passion has its little way into the real estate business. But IT for sure. I mean, there's this thing called integrators and they're basically, Brian. Brian's done a big talk up on a big stage somewhere. He's a, he's kind of a big deal. Uh, just ask him, he'll tell you. But uh, he did he did do a really cool that talk about it being a, an all connected business where there are so many different things that connect into real estate. And, and IT is certainly one of them. So you probably, you probably have a good discussion with Johnny on that even. And you know, Randy, there's all kinds of things that need oh, to yeah. be connected all the time. Most definitely. So, um, Dave, Dave said this one thing he wanted to get out. He said, one last thing, my disability and the things I was able, unable to never, uh, unable to do, uh, never mattered to 1701 family and Jen and everyone else treating your utmost respect and dignity. Good people, no doubt, 100%. That's a testament to you guys and what you guys built. Dave, okay. Dave took his disability and he used it as a superpower. He's uh, awesome. he's an amazing human, honestly. I honestly I didn't know he had a disability just meeting him. So yep. yeah, you never awesome. you never would. He's phenomenal. Yeah. So um, real quick, yeah, we are coming to like an hour and a half um, setting here. I want to get to the point with where you guys are going in the future, and where you guys want to go to, and then how can anybody here who's watching help you meet that. 
So, uh, okay. So basically our goal this year, uh, we want to do uh, in between 150 and 200 houses in the city of Detroit, uh, specifically mm-hmm. on the west side, typically brick, um, you know, that we're looking that are worth $110,000 or more. Uh, we want to fix those up though. Uh, so, so we're trying to do 150 to 200 long-term rentals. Uh, we're trying to get to about 80 um, wholesale deals, which, mm-hmm. you know, like, like we're, we're, you know, that, that might be more challenging uh, on the side of this group. But if, um, you know, you have any wholesale opportunities, um, you know, we're building out a pretty robust, you know, dispo and process mm-hmm. and all sorts of stuff. So we can do that. We're also trying to purchase 26 waterfront and destination uh, Airbnb short-term rental properties. So we're trying to be within 90 minutes of Metro Detroit. And if we're looking for special properties, if you've ever walked to a property and you're like, oh my God, like this is special and it can be unique. Like it could be an old like firehouse or it could be Mm. an old school building or, you know, something that's just like on a special piece of water. Like we're open for all of it. Ideally, those are fixers. We'd love to fix them. Um, that kind of works best for our model. And then mm-hmm. the other 26 properties we're trying to do is um, flip properties, typically in the suburbs. Uh, and we're all over Metro Detroit. So we kind of go where the opportunities are. Um, yep. And, you know, we just kind of kind of tackle it that way. So awesome. So, so, so that's that's what we're looking for. We're looking for those things. And then of course, we're always, um, we're always raising, uh, private funds as well. Um, Mm -hmm. so most of our private funders, you know, they, they fund a hundred thousand dollars. Uh, you know, some of them fund more, uh, we got some bigger people that fund a lot more, but you know, anybody that's interested in kind of going for a ride and learning kind of the inside baseball of this business, um, we're happy to talk with you about being an investor in 1701 homes and kind of everything that we're doing. And with those, you know, we always, you know, offer the inside baseball of what's happening. You want to learn about short term rentals? We'd love to talk with you about short term rentals. We can invest your money there. We can do it in the flipping business, like really whatever, mm-hmm. um, you know, they are like excited about. Like we try to, Got like Todd mentioned earlier, try to put people with their passions. Mm-hmm. And, you know, if we can help people, that are looking to invest, uh, kind of learn along the way, then we do that stuff as well. That's awesome. Hey, hey Randy, some of our most fun yeah. days in the business over the years have been taking investors and doing house tours, like with them, you know, and seeing yeah. houses at different stages and they get to ask questions. One of those things, you know, you can invest and it can be totally passive and that works too, but we're also super happy to throw you in a car and go see them. And usually they like to, we've had investors take, you know, We'll take them to houses that were like half order houses that we had and they're taking stuff home and you know ladders and and what you know whatever there's so much stuff yep. that comes from the real estate business but we've had some really fun days and they're happy to you know whether you're an investor or not happy to take anybody around on the show most definitely and that's the good thing about this um uh, you know get your name out there you know investors investors why they want to feel a part of the deal you know, especially the type of investors who they don't really need the money, but they need a place to park their money. You know, yeah. Yeah. Um, what I mean by that is, is you got, I mean, you got people that make a comfortable living and they they got extra cash. They just don't want to sit in the bank. Well, they, they would just want to make a, a, a nice return on it, but they want to feel like they're a part of something. And I think that's what you guys do. That's what help, you know, you help make them feel like they're a part of something you know they can brag to their friends hey i you know i'm a part of this flipping game here you know (laughs) so you know it adds some credibility to them as well so i i I think that's really cool now um if anybody wants to do that if anybody wants to be a part of that um you know or just want to sell you any deals or anything like that how would they get a hold of you so you can have them, they could reach out to any of our socials. Every, everything social is at 1701 Homes, uh, okay. Facebook, Instagram, all that type of stuff. Uh, my phone number is 313-434-5019. They can, uh, text is probably best there, 313-434-5019. Uh, okay. Email is brian, B-R-Y-A-N, at 1701 Homes. Uh, and 
reach out that way. So, or just go on to Facebook. You'll see me there. Send me a message. Um, and that's how you get awesome. in touch with me or us. Awesome. And if you can't get a hold of them for some reason, get a hold of me. My number and email is all the way down here. I'll be happy to get a hold of them for for you for a fee. I'm just <laughs> I'm, happy, I'm happy to connect people. There it is. And, and, there it is. All the time. So um, <laughs> no. Um, you know, so with that being said, you know, I'm gonna have you guys uh, bring you guys down and stick around for a minute. I just want to talk to you. Um, and with that, we will uh, we're gonna end this podcast. And you know, one thing I always say uh, when editing podcasts it, or all these is, you know, let's all do deals together. That's it. Amen. Amen, brother. All right. Everyone have a good day. Thanks, Randy.